Hey gang, it's Brian Clock and Dan Cheeseman. We're celebrating 20 years of business and we're pretty excited to be talking to you guys. You know us for motorcycles, you know us for Bonneville racing, you know us for custom bikes, and then Dan has to go buy a Razor. Now here we are. The big deal about this is it's not a normal half shield. Everybody's been telling me I'm going to these things and I know nothing about UTVs. And everybody's telling me it's, I already have a half shield. I already have this, I have that. Well, guess what? You also had a windshield on your Harley Davidson for 40 years that was the same as every other windshield until we came along. The first thing you're noticing and probably asking yourself, why all the curves? Why the different design? Why the hips? Why the flips? The off-road market is so used to having one option for a windshield, a flat acrylic plastic that does nothing to control the wind but only block straight wind and straight debris. One of the major benefits of our patented design is using shape, not height, to control the wind. By this, I simply mean that no matter how dirty your windshield gets, whether it be a muddy trail, whether it be desert dust, you are still going to have visibility while getting your wind protection. This is because you are meant to look over our flare windshield and not through it. With the patented shape of our flare windshield, we not only block wind, but we control it. As you can see by this flow analysis, the wind flows up and through the cab in a smooth arc. How it doesn't stop right in front of your face like it does with a traditional flat windshield and just create a rolling effect which then in turn creates a vacuum which sucks dust in and not out, shaking your helmet, shaking your sunglasses, creating just a choking heat. Those days are gone. You know, a lot of times where you're riding these, there's some beautiful scenery. And what I have found without a windshield, or I shouldn't say without a windshield, without the flare windshield, if I would go to look to the side going 60 miles an hour on a wide open trail to check out some scenery, it was very hard. My head would be forced to the side with all the wind shear on my helmet. Now with the flare windshield, that's all but taken care of. All that direct blast of wind is gone. All of the rolling wind is gone, which creates the head shake. No more dust vacuum created in the cab. Um, you could get a lot of wind protection with a full windshield, but then you've just created a vacuum inside where the cab fills up with dirt, dust, and heat. While Clockworks does not recommend or suggest that you shoot a handgun at your flare windshield, this demonstration is to show the amazing impact and abrasion resistance of our polycarbonate plastic. As you can see here, the bullet did not pass through. The other thing I'm personally excited about was Dan's fight for these crazy clamps. These are not some plastic thumb screw, they're actually billet clamps. They're made by our partners at Axia Alloys for us. And Axia is well known in this marketplace. It was actually clamps that I had used on my UTV before we developed this windshield. Um, and when we were developing the windshield, you know, we were coming to a mounting solution, and Brian asked me, what do you think? And I said, I want to use Axia clamps. Dan said they're more expensive than normal. They're not your average deal, but this guy holds the patent on making this clamp this certain way. And if there's anybody that understands technology and patents, it's us. It costs a lot of money to do these things, but if you're going to do it, do it right, do it once, and have a product that will last a lifetime. Those are the kind of partners we want. We found that in Mike at Axia. And 100% manufactured in the United States of America. The windshield and the clamps. That is a big talking point when it comes to this off-road market. The clamps stay on the cage, so you don't have to constantly reposition. Um, so your windshield is positioned in exactly the spot that you placed it, and it's simply a quick detach. Speaking of placement of the windshield, we can talk a little bit about the gap that we would like to require there. We're always looking for just a finger length gap in between here, and that's because the air that comes off of here will attach to here and then connect and do what you want it to do. The flare windshield is currently available in tint, dark smoke, and clear. What we're finding is a lot of the end users, if, especially if they're in a rock crawling area, want the clear one so they can see certain objects as they get to them. Other people who are out in the desert prefer the light tint one just because they want to take a little bit of that glare off. And yet, then there's cool kids like Dan, start smoke or nothing. While we're discussing riding your UTV, um, after the long day of riding, whether it be in the desert climate, alpine, or wide open highway, 
The best thing to clean your UTV flare with after the ride is Shineworks. Shineworks does keep the static down. You can use just regular soap and water. We do not recommend Rain-X or any products like that on our windshields. Nor no Windex, right. um, no products with petroleum distillates, um, high levels of alcohol, high levels of ammonia. Uh, we don't recommend that. That will degrade the hard coating. This will help keep the bugs off, debris off. It will uh, reduce the static charge in your windshield. So definitely pick this up as well. Of course, we've only talked about Razor here and we're, we're exhibiting the Razor, but we do have them in process for the Ranger, the Polaris Ranger, also the Can MX3, and we have other models on the way. What we do want you to know is each one of these is designed specifically for that vehicle model, whether it's the way the cage angle is or the way the hood uh, airflow goes, but every one of those is catted up by our, our R&D department and actually run through the computer simulations for specific air management for that vehicle. Oh, that looks fine. Looks perfect. If Brian would act like he likes you. You don't like me. My you point said, was on the yellow line. So I've yeah. got my mark. Look, I'm sitting here. I'm casual. You Roll said I got to act more casual. What a, how it works is on a straight windshield, just like it is on a motorcycle. Doesn't matter if it's this tall or it's this tall. As soon as the air hits that, as soon as it crests, it comes down in there, creates a swirling effect. Just do the swirling thing together and then it's in again. <laughs> it's like synchronized swimming. When you're good, you just got it. What was more important is the wind shear that he felt at 60 miles an hour looking at scenery. Well, his, it was his wife. That's the shear. <laughs> She's like, hey, jerk, we're going 60. There's trees up here. We got to turn. The only reason she stays with me is because of my razor. <laughs>